I often wonder if depression isn't what causes some kids to not do well in school and in life. There are definitely people who have had a worse childhood than I did, and that's really sad. My core memories as a child were of my parents fighting. They divorced when I was four. My father remarried immediately and was mostly involved with his own life with his new wife. My mother married an abusive alcoholic and we moved to his apartment while my brothers, who were teenagers, lived in the house by themselves. My sister had gone into the Navy immediately after the divorce. At the end of the summer, my mother, her husband, and I moved back into the house. My mom took on various jobs and her husband cut and sold wood for a living. I'm not sure where my brothers went. My mother's husband didn't want the boys. I didn't see much of them after that. I didn't have friends when I was young, and I spent a lot of time alone. When I wasn't at school, I played in the woods behind the house. There was a lot of conflict. My mother's husband was a drunk, and they would sit at the kitchen table and drink, and her husband would just berate her and complain about her stupid kid. And she would just sit there and take it. My bedroom was right off the kitchen, so I heard every word. On the weekends, I went to my dad's house, and I think he took me more out of obligation than actually wanting to spend time with me. The woman he was married to was significantly older than him, and her grandkids were my age. They would visit often, and they would watch wrestling and dance fever on TV while I would read a book. When they weren't there, Dad would work on his projects, and I would read. I spent a lot of time reading. That's one of the things my mother did right, was to take me to the library. Reading allowed me to escape the hell that was my life. At home, at school, or at my dad's house, I was always reading a book. I would often read a book from cover to cover in one sitting. I hated being at home, I hated going to my dad's house, and I hated going to school. I didn't care how I dressed. I often forgot my lunch or my coat. I couldn't manage myself. The other kids didn't like me. I got terrible grades, I didn't do homework, and I didn't participate in class. I hated math because it made me think too hard, and I didn't want to think that hard. All I wanted to do was read, and that's what I did. I skipped school every opportunity I got. As if my life wasn't hellish enough, I was always being nagged about my bad grades, and my dad made the excuse, she's too smart, she's just bored. So I lived my young life feral and with no direction, which led to making many poor choices, including marrying a sociopath. The sociopath thing didn't set well. I didn't like to be told what to do, but by the end of it, he had me well-trained. But he didn't count on the fact that eventually I would get sick of living like this and kick him to the curb. I divorced the idiot and married a really nice man I met at work. I actually chose him on purpose. I remember talking to him at the coffee machine one day and thinking to myself, I hope he finds a nice person who appreciates him. Then I realized I wanted that person to be me. I wasn't disappointed. He was fun to be around and supported everything that I wanted to do. My work offered an education benefit, and I went to college, which was right up the street from our house, to learn about computers. I loved going to college and maintained a 4.0 grade average. If I had to, I would have even taken math. That's a big difference from when I was in grade school. When I think about my dad saying, she's too smart, she's just bored, I want to scream at him, no, I was freaking depressed, you idiot. Schools are so fast to label kids who are disruptive, acting out, and not performing well as having attention deficit hyperactivity disorder. What if it's not ADHD? What if it's depression? Maybe, just maybe, the experts are treating the wrong thing. You can give a child all the riddling you want, and it's not going to help them navigate the problems they are having at home. This is just my two cents. But the first 20-some years of my life absolutely sucked and I believe depression and neglect was the root of all my problems. Not only was I depressed, but I had social anxiety, too. I wish that when I had left the narcissist, I had been treated for both. But just improving my life made all the difference in the world. Being around narcissists will absolutely ruin your life. I lost 27 years of my life to narcissists, and I've been making up for it since. I am 100% a different person than I was when I left DB. As far as I'm concerned, that old Bridget is dead. I hope that this video gave you value and hopefully validation. A thumbs up would not offend me. Thanks for watching and have a great day.